What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is if you have a Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, this is a Note 20 Ultra, but regardless, you can now start to download the One UI 2.5 update for your phone. So it'll bring it more in line with the features and software that the Galaxy S20 Ultra now has and the Note 20 Ultra also has. And now I know it's rolling out to international versions of this phone. So if you're in America or somewhere else, you still don't have this, just be patient. It is rolling out and it should be out fairly soon within the next couple of weeks of where you are, hopefully. I say hopefully because carriers here in America are notoriously slow for pushing out updates. But regardless, again, you're going to get the, the the software experience you love on the latest and greatest, you know, software version versus you know, on a phone that's you know what a year old at this point. So just check for your updates. Just go into settings, software updates, and see if you have it. If you don't, again, just be patient, wait it out. If you do have it, let us know in the comments down below. Is it buggy? Do you love it? Let us know. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. It's a phone I'm absolutely terribly excited for. I know a lot of you are excited for. I know a lot of you pre-ordered it. Definitely a lot more, it seemingly, of you guys have pre-ordered versus the Galaxy Fold 1. I don't remember getting nearly as much uh, emails and texts and social media reach outs uh, for the Fold 2 as I did for the Fold 1 with you guys. So it's definitely a seemingly very interesting and hot product for you guys. And I wanted to talk about what Sam Mobile has said about this. They, they Obviously, not everything's negative about it, but they listed you know, three problems or three negativities about this phone to be concerned with if you're getting it. And some of them probably won't surprise you if any of them, but it's good to know what we're getting into with this phone being $2,000 plus tax. So let's talk about what they said. The first one, battery life. Battery life on this is supposedly not that great, especially when you compare it to the Galaxy Fold 1. They said it's worse battery life than the Galaxy Fold 1 and a couple of reasons. The, you get more screen real estate on the inside and outside of this, especially on the outside. It's, it, it went from what, like 4.6 to 6.23, and then on the inside, it got a, a couple of the 0.2 or 0.3 inches bigger as well. So it has to produce, you know, more light, more more power to those displays. So obviously, that's going to go down. But I think the bigger culprit of all this is the 120 hertz display and also 5G and probably more so 5G than anything, but also probably 120 Hertz. So you're looking at 120 Hertz and 5G really bringing the battery down in terms of its life with this phone. So you're gonna get a lot less screen on time. You're gonna have to be closer to a charger more often. You're gonna have to have a battery pack potentially plugged into it. Something to be concerned with. I know with my Note 20 Ultra, it has a 4,500 milliamp battery. When you add in 5G, 120 Hertz, a big display, the battery life is not amazing, at least for me. And Samsung's calling me right now, so let me take this call real quick. What did they call about? They called me because I'm trying to get a $35 credit on my pre-order for the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. I never got it because they sent the email for the reservation so late after the pre-order started, and now I'm trying to get it so I can use that money to buy a case for the Galaxy uh, Z Fold 2. Long story, but let's jump back into why the Z Fold 2 might have some issues. The second reason is 2X zoom camera is not seemingly enough. Now, when you get an S20 Ultra, a Note 20 Ultra, which are cheaper phones, obviously they're a little bit different, they don't fold and stuff like that, you get 100x and 50x zooms on those phones. 2x zoom is the max on the Z Fold 2. Now, it's not a huge deal. How many times am I personally zooming into something? It, honestly, it's really just to see something from far away if I just want to see what it is and I can't see it, or to take a picture of the moon. And that's generally it. So 2x zoom might be potentially completely fine with me, might be completely fine with most people. But it still is a little bit of a letdown when you get such intense zoom ranges on the S20 Ultra, the Note 20 Ultra, and those are seemingly just as premium as the Z Fold 2 and less expensive. So it's just something to think about. And then the last reason is they feel like the camera punch hole is more distracting than the Galaxy Fold 1's notch, which a little bit weird to me. I feel like it wouldn't be, but to them it is. And they feel like it's in the wrong spot altogether. They feel like it should be in the middle of the, the display rather than you know off to the, the right-hand side, or it should be in the upper right-hand corner, not the middle of the right-hand corner. So they, didn't, they, th they found it distracting where it was. Again, that's probably, I, I can't imagine I'm gonna get bothered by that too much. 
Maybe I will. I just don't feel like I will. I think the main thing out of those three issues that's gonna bother me the most is battery life. I, I hate having to always charge my phone. And with someone like AT&T, I can't turn off 5G. They disable it, even on the unlocked versions. I cannot disable 5G. Now, some of the other carriers here in the United States, you can, but with that one, you can't. And then also, dropping the, the, the refresh rate down to 60, it's like, if I'm dropping 60 hertz and dropping turning off 5G, it's like, just get a Galaxy Fold 1 at that point. It's like two of the major selling points of the phone you can't even use if you wanna get decent battery life. So it is something to think about. But let me know what you guys think of the Galaxy Z Fold 2's shortcomings. Do you think they're good? Do you think they're bad? Let me know. Do you think there's more that there, people aren't talking about? Again, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.